Yup. 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 Oh, shit. Thank you, Jesus, for this bussin' ass meal. Ladies and gentlemen, let me announce to you guys, today's the first... Never mind the damn. Let me announce to you guys, uh, as I was saying here, let me announce to you guys that today marks the day where the vlogs are back. The, the, yes, the vlogs are back. No more food reviews for a little bit. And uh, today's gonna be, uh, today's just gonna be a chill day. Today's Thursday. We're uh, hitting chest today. And, um,. Of course, as soon as I record someone, I still have a lot of stuff to catch up on when it comes to editing. I still have a lot of videos to edit and, you know, I want to start uploading uh, twice. I want to start doing double uploads until I catch up on the, you know, I, until I get caught up completely. But for now, back to vlogs, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What specific thing are we doing today? I have no idea, if I'm honest with you. Uh, no nothing's changed yet, boys. Uh, still, still clueless of what we're doing today besides the lifting stuff. All I know is that today's going to be a good day anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 it's the, my favorite part of the day. Bars. It's, uh, we got food going on here. This is, it's not Dave's Hot Chicken, believe it or not. Yes, I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, I know. I'm just as shocked as you are. This is Grand Junction. This is a uh, chicken cordon bleu sandwich. Well, pow. Let's open it up. Pause. Lots of lettuce, but you know, it's all good. Grand Junction competes with five guys as having like the most like purest, fries i guess yeah i hear flies no this isn't a food review all right this isn't <laughs> this is just me hungry because i didn't meal prep this week and whose fault is that mine the fry mm -mm -mm. no like i said this is a chicken cordon bleu jalapenos bacon tomatoes lettuce the chicken cordon bleu sauce obviously there's chicken in there too let's give it a buck huh or let's give it a buck let's give it a whirl yup yup Oh, shit. Thank you, Jesus, for this bussin' ad meal. All right, in anticipation of having work tomorrow in the morning at 7 a.m., uh, your boy is actually not gonna stay at the gym for as long as he usually does. Uh, I'm gonna do like a nice, like an hour and 30 to like maybe a two hour, like, lift. Nothing crazy. And uh, today is chest day, or so today is push day, so it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna. Let's do it. <laughs> Successful devious pump today, ladies and gentlemen. It's another day in the office. Like I said, it's push day, so you know, successful. You know, a little advice for all of you: live life, right? It's such like a like a like a simpleton type of advice. Like yes, goof. Like yes, live your life. The quote that goes, you know, it's always greener on the other side, is so true. I know I'm not old at all or anything, but you know, in the 22 years I've been living here, it's becoming even more and more and more apparent that, yes, like, the grass is always greener on the other side, uh, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, tough times don't last, whatever you want to do, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's true, 100%. And the only way to really get to that point, to get to that end of the tunnel, or uh, to get to that grass, you know, the greener grass, or uh, to survive the storm or whatever, is really just thug it out and... While you're in the thick of it, pause. Like I said, thug it out, but also really do positive things to improve you. Do positive things for you, especially, because, you know, at the end of the day, everyone that you know will die. If you can't learn to, like, live for yourself and make good decisions for yourself, no one's gonna do it for you. With that being said, if things get rough, just, bro, just live, really just live. Do positive stuff for yourself, do things that improve you. Try to think of the negative that's causing your life to be, you know, in the depths right now as, as fuel for a bigger pasture, a bigger, you know, a bigger, I, I didn't cook with that one. Use the tough times as fuel to get you to the end of the tunnel or, you know, at the end of the storm, whatever. Use it as fuel. What I've learned too, tough times is such a good, like, tough times are negative, obviously, but it's such a, there's a, there's such a big positive to it because, because that's when you're at your most, like, grind mindset, I guess, like, you're at your most, like, you're at your peak grind mindset. Unless you take, like, hard times in a different way, I understand completely, but I would encourage you, if you're on that boat, to try to switch to the other boat by using tough times as, like, a way to just grind, you know what I mean? Because what's the point of just laying in bed and, you know, doing nothing? You're not doing anyone else a favor, you're not doing you a favor, especially. Have I had those moments before where, you know, I just lay in bed and, you know, kind of, mm, 
Yes, absolutely. But I learned really quickly to not do that and like actually do what I'm doing right now is that I'm grinding, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, still, still doing what I'm doing, living life, going to the gym, whatever, all that kind of stuff. So live life, man. Live life. All love. That's, that's my advice for today. All right. Just a little advice. Yes. Leave me alone. All right. Yes. Dave, Dave's hot chicken. Yes. Yes. The calories. The taste, the pleasure, the pain of my bank account. Yes, it's it's a great combination, but it's Dave's hot chicken, so I can't I can't you know you, you can't deny you can't deny Dave's hot chicken. Otherwise, you're just not having fun in life. <laughs> and that's what this whole video is about. You know what? Let's do that. Well, that's what this whole video is about. Live life, all right. Even if you're broke. Go to Dave's Hot Chick. That's the message, all right? That's the message. But no, I mean, I guess I kind of go back to the topic that I was talking about earlier. I hope I made my point clear. Pretty much just, you know, in my eyes at least, use the pain as motivation. Use the pain as a way to, to boost you. It's gonna hurt for a little bit, whether that be a family loss, whether that be a, uh, you know, a relationship, whatever it may be, whatever thing that, that that's causing you pain. Right. Use that as like a way to boost yourself physically, mentally, whatever, financially, you know, whatever it may be. I present this question to you. How do I say this? How do I say this? When the tough time is over, would you rather be at a position where you can look back at yourself and think, oh yeah, I definitely have improved a lot. Or would you rather look back at yourself and be like, I'm still the same, you know? If you choose the second option, then, you know, like the tough times being over, would it really be over if you didn't, you know, work on yourself at the at the same time? I don't know. I'm, I might be talking out of my ass here or you know I, I don't know that's just kind of my way of thinking about it you know take it as you will but yeah dave's hot chicken very delicious what else am i doing for the rest of the night see i'm not gonna be doing much because like i said i have work tomorrow morning so I, I i shouldn't be doing too much just gonna be relaxing just gonna be enjoying the night and you know just have a bit of fun just relax so uh yeah that's 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 the move um i'll give you guys updates whenever Whenever I have them, I guess. Wanna see something cool? Turn around, no, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.